where player power rules. We've tried to replicate this in FM15 with lots of additions and changes with regards to player personalities and interaction. Thanks, Miles. Yes, this episode is about player interaction and how it's going to be different for Football Manager 15. I don't think it's going to be too different, uh, but let's find out what else he's got to say. Players can now speak to their manager about a range of worries they may have. That's not that different. That's always been a similar thing. I, I don't think the, the change there is that substantial. It could be concerns regarding the club, such as financial trouble or more personal problems, such as rumours of a new player coming to the club who plays in their position, or when you sign a player and what it means to their future. Now that is a little bit more in depth and I'm pleased because I think it does add a certain more, it just there's more elements to player interaction. I think that is necessary. Uh, you don't want to get bogged down in it though and that's always been the thing for me. If they're considering a move away from the club on a free transfer at the end of their contract, you can talk to the player and ask them to reconsider their decision and if they feel you can offer the terms they're looking for, maybe they'll change their mind. However, if you don't want to keep a player, you can ask them to talk to the media in order to force a move away. They may be reluctant to do this if they still wish to be part of your plans, but if they're as desperate for a move as you are, they'll get straight on the phone to the papers. It's quite funny that you can ask a player to now talk to other teams via the media. Uh, it's a very interesting tactic that FM are bringing in. It's a little bit controversial in real life, so the fact they're putting it in the game is cool. Another new addition to this area of the game is the ability to talk to a group of players about the same issue. For example, if several players are concerned about the club's financial position, you can appease them all together rather than having separate conversations on the same subject. Allies within the dressing room can now express their concerns for the way you've dealt with their teammates and there are entirely new group unhappiness meetings to address the concerns of multiple players at once. Yes, I love this. I love the fact you can now group together like consistent thoughts in a dressing room and talk to them all at the same time rather than having to go through each individual kind of player who's feeling a bit down or having to deal with a whole group, some of which won't be affected by the issue. So this is great. This is a lovely feature, something I'm really pleased they've brought in. Managers will have to be a lot more careful about how they deal with the man management side of FM to avoid a full-blown dressing room revolt and the board stepping in to intervene. Similarly, there's also the scope for players to turn against their unhappy teammate and support their manager instead. Good, because I'm sick and tired of being sort of piled on by 20 players who hate me. So it's nice to see that kind of you can get moral support from whether it's your captain or just your star player. That's the sort of thing I like to see included. It's another thing that just gives a little bit more depth to the game. It just makes me more excited to play because I think I'm going to be supported. They love me. They don't hate me. Players will now approach the manager when learning the team's interest in signing them to state that they'd like permission to talk to the interested party should a bid come in for them rather than waiting to discuss it after an offer has been rejected. Players will also be a lot more specific in their reasons for asking to leave, giving the manager a much wider scope to try and sort the player around, incentivise them staying, or negotiate their exit conditions. Yes, another thing that sounds really, really cool. The fact you can kind of have this wonder kid and you can keep him and you can beg him to stay. And, you know, I know these, I know you've got your reasons, but I just want you to stay, I just want you to love us, stay and love us. And it just seems like a lot of begging has been included in this, this year's FM, which I'm fine with. I love a bit of a beg. You can even give a parting comment to players who are leaving the club against their will. You can send them on their way with your best wishes and thank them for their time at the club or be a little bit more scathing in your evaluation of the time they spent with you. You need to be careful with making promises too. Players may well have career goals and squad objectives over the next few years and beyond. For example, if your young striker is looking to break into the first team squad during the current season and he doesn't achieve this, he could start to consider a move away from the club. Okay, so the first part of that, nothing new, pretty similar. The second part though, quite cool something again i keep saying quite cool but it's just it's adding to the in-depthness of the game you don't want this is the problem with with player interaction you can get bogged down in it and i think we all feel sometimes that it's just like i just want to play games sometimes and do tactics and do training i don't want to be chatting to carl lafferty for three weeks i know the feeling a youth player will show short-term happiness when they're exposed to the first team for example whether that's from playing their first match just by making the bench and if you keep your promises you can keep a very happy and together squad now the player promises seem really interesting and i'm excited by that also uh, i love the idea of bringing a player up and you'll be excited that's very realistic that's something that happens in professional football all the time uh player interaction then what do you think about it do you think it's something that's really going to improve the game is it something you're going to take a lot more interest with uh, i know a lot of people kind of not ignore their players but only talk to them when a big issue comes up uh, it's something that 
I think they need. I don't want to feel overloaded by player inquiries all season, and I guess we'll see when we play the game if it's going to feel a little bit like that. Uh, time will tell. Obviously, if you've not already seen the, the full SI uh, video, it, the link to that is in the description. If you've enjoyed this video and you've got more to add, leave a comment, uh, leave a like, and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. So from me, Dr. Benji, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're looking forward to FM15 as much as I am. Goodbye.